The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Soon after Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, became king of Judah, the Lord said to me, Stand in the court of the temple and proclaim all I've commanded you to say to the people who come from the towns of Judah to worship there. Do not leave out anything. Perhaps the people will listen and give up their evil ways. If they do, then I will change my mind about the destruction I plan to bring on them for all their wicked deeds. The Lord told me to say to the people, I, the Lord, have said that you must obey me by following the teaching I gave you and by paying attention to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I have kept on sending to you. You've never obeyed what they said. And if you continue to disobey, then I will do to this temple what I did to Shiloh. And all the nations of the world will use the name of this city as a curse. The priests, the prophets, and all the people heard me saying these things in the temple. And as soon as I had finished all that the Lord had commanded me to speak, they grabbed me and shouted, You ought to be killed for this! Why have you said in the Lord's name that this temple will become like Shiloh? and that this city will be destroyed and no one will live in it. Then the people crowded around me. And our response is taken from Psalm 69. Yahweh in your great love, answer me. Those outnumber the hairs of my head who hate me without cause. Too many for my strength are they who wrongfully are my enemies. Must I restore what I did not steal? Since for your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a, a stranger to my mother's sons. Because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor in your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will grant whatever you ask of him. And Jesus said, your brother will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. And Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Anyone who believes in me even though that person dies, will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. The Gospel of the Lord.